This video is about the batteries in the 123D circuit simulator. Here you see we have a 9 volt battery, a AA battery, and a coin cell battery. Each of these batteries has a connector on it so that you can easily attach a wire. I found the batteries by going into the Components Plus menu and looking around, or I could search for battery. Let's look at how you might connect these in a circuit. Very typical to take a 9 volt battery, rotate it, and connect it directly to the breadboard. And now if we press Start Simulation, we see 9 volts on the top rail. It's also typical to take a AA and take four AA's together to create 6 volts. And I was just copying and pasting to get those. And I will now take two of these rotate them and now let's take all of these and rotate them and start connecting and what this does is this creates six volts which is very common in circuitry so now we see six volts and then if we wanted to see how to maybe use the coin cell we see that it is just wired up directly to an LED and a resistor on the breadboard. So now let's go a little bit further into this and let's look at the current capabilities of batteries. Now you see I have a multimeter hooked up to each one, so we're measuring 9 volts, 1.5 volts, and 3 volts. But if I set it to measure current, we see the theoretical maximum that we have allowed for current draw out of the batteries in the circuit simulator. And why this is important is because batteries in real life cannot deliver infinite current. They have a limit. And the limit is actually set by their internal resistance. And if you've been studying Ohm's law, you can calculate the internal resistance of a battery. We're going to let you do that on your own. But instead, we're going to show you an example circuit of what I'm talking about. So here we have essentially a little car. And when I flick the switch, the wheels start turning. And this 9 volt battery is connected through the switch, through a potentiometer. And then we're measuring the current going through the motors, through this current meter. And the motors are spinning. And as I lower the resistance, the wheels start to spin faster because more and more current is given to the motors. And if you notice, the voltage that we're reading here, which is the voltage of the battery, is going down. So the more current I allow the motors to draw, the lower the voltage of the battery itself. And this is what we call real. This battery is acting real. It's very different from a power supply that can act ideal and allow a theoretically infinite current draw. So there you have it. You can try this experiment for yourself in the 123D circuits simulator.